Good afternoon. Here we are at GCS HQ in the field. And an interesting phone call, really interesting phone call early part of the week. Um, Glyn Wallace from Manitou UK. Would you like to try some of our machines to evaluate them against our machines in the higher fleet already? And see if these machines would fit into our higher fleet. So not only is this an evaluation, it's also we want you guys opinion so if you can comment what you think of the manitou machines what your experience of them are that'd be great so i'm going to put these machines to work you can come with me and watch here we go this machine we're going to put to work it's an mlt 741 130 so that is a seven meter reach 4.1 ton lift 130 horsepower so we're going to go and put this to work and see how this goes Conditions underfoot aren't, probably aren't the best. Still very wet underfoot, but grip seems pretty good for grip. Uh, it's quite well balanced considering it's wet clay type soil that we're moving. Um, she just, yeah, she just seems well bossy really. And it'll just, yeah, pushes it up lovely. Not, it's not quite the, the, the power we're used to in terms of JCB, but it is isn't noticeable really currently in this current application um, it may be noticeable on the road but we'll, we'll, we'll come to that we'll try that later we'll uh, we'll put a trailer on and we'll shoot off down the road um have found some quite nifty features that we're familiar with anyway um i've just found it actually i was, was playing there um there is a, a bucket shake feature like we have on the jcbs um She's doing that. It actually operates a little bit differently to be fair. You get it all the way crowded around and hold and it shakes the bucket. Which is quite a nifty feature. And the joystick, which we'll get some photos of, <coughs> is quite a different joystick. Very ergonomic, I think the word is. And well I sort of questioned it a little bit for a start, but it does actually fall to hand very, very nicely. One thing I do find a little bit frustrating with this machine is there seems to be a little bit of a delay um, between my input and what it actually does, uh, which I, is a little bit frustrating. Let's see if we can get Harvey in the bucket. <laughs> that's making that's making nervous. The next machine to play with is the MLT841-145, which is an 8 metre maximum lift height, 4.1 tonne lift, 145 horsepower. Let's go see how this one goes. One thing that is immediately noticeable is how um, differently the bib loads perform in like, wet, off-roady type conditions. Like, these are, are better suited to hard surfaces but they are they're performing we're, we're still we're still doing doing a job so i think this machine is definitely got a little bit more power you can feel there's a little bit more power um horsepower wise um hydraulics i don't think there's a huge amount of difference not that you could not not noticeably anyway um you can certainly tell a difference in the tires uh, I think the bib loads are they're, they're very much suited to hard surface, whereas <coughs> the XMCLs of the tractor type tread on them are certainly better in these conditions. That being said, this will be a heavier machine anyway. I do like this cab though. This cab's slightly, uh, slightly longer, so it is it's definitely more comfortable for me in the sense that I've got long legs, so I can get the seat that little bit further back and sit quite comfortably in it. As much as I didn't think it'd be noticeable, that extra reach is, a, it is, it is noticeable. And I think the stability of this machine, being heavier, is better. I do quite like the gold wrap on it though. 50 years of Manitou UK. Nice thing, follow leader, work like package. And this joystick, I do quite like how intuitively that falls to hand. Forward and reverse under your index finger and your um, gear shift. Uh, that one is boom, extend and retract. 
and I don't know if you can see that but that will work the locking pins until we turn the tap quite interestingly hand throttle that's quite a nice feature um, quite a lot of features for the boom there boom shake which we're familiar with and you can also lock off various features or functions of the boom oh, it's got eco power let's turn that off you can also um, auto return back to wherever you've set it various controls for your, your third service then you come to steering controls transmission controls handbrake and the parachute button which I'm not quite sure what that does right the next thing I'm going to try uh, I'm going to use a pallet times and we'll pick up some of the tanks that we've got in the yard and we're going to put them on this trailer and we'll get a feel for how the fine control is with these, these machines it was quite a smooth operating machine slight frustration with the transmission in that wanted to change gear when you didn't really want it to which is a little bit odd I'd just maybe me not setting the transmission quite right but again a lot to learn on these machines overall smooth intuitive machine to learn um, the joystick control is it's a nice thing and it's quite easy to use with a fine degree of control so yeah quite a nice machine may well be a place for these in our higher fleet and if you guys want to see them in your in this higher fleet and you have any experience of them please do comment and tell us how you found the machines and um yeah we'll see what we can do we'll get them priced up and go from there this is a, a feature on these manitous that i actually really like now the, the little bit of a cut out there and you think ah, it not make a lot of difference but getting in and out of the machines especially getting out you just you nearly slide off the seat onto the step and you're away it if you're in and out of these machines all day every day that'll make all the difference when you slip off the step we've all done it it's not as good as it could be so yeah i think that's a lovely feature right well we're off we're going to try first of all we're going to try the 841 um the drive's always a good test because it's usually fairly rough and then we're going to fire off down the road and see how well mannered it is on the road. We've got um, the Bailey dump trailer on with some tarmac chippings in, some stone. So we've got a decent amount of weight on board and we'll, uh, we'll go and see how she handles it. On the 800 series, the 841, this machine has torque lock up in fourth and fifth gear, which I'm told is, isn't on a 741 which this should be noticed whether this machine is now pulling down the transmission's locked in up to a point that we downshift through the fourth into third for it to then come out of top buckle so we're now coming down it also picking up some speed too and this one i believe is 145 horsepower and about 600 newton meters of torque so it's it's doing all right. We've got a good amount of weight on board, so um, yeah, it's not doing bad. We'll uh, go and take the 741 now. First impressions, aside from that mudguard rattling, it does have to actually seem to ride slightly better, but that could well be down to the tyres. Now, XMCLs always have historically ridden that little bit better anyway. This is six-speed power shift in this machine, whereas the uh, 841 is a five. Overall, there's a definite noticeable power difference between the two, but there was always going to be. Um, I think this one it actually rides nicer on the road. I think out of the two, the 841 is the most comfortable machine. But yeah, I think the 741 is. The, the easiest to operate if you like um, both very much have their pros and cons there's some features on these machines that I quite like that JCB don't necessarily have um, but there's, then there's, there's features on these machines that I wish that these had from JCB so yeah, I think there's a place for these without a doubt is Manitou solid gold that's a good question 
I think there could well be a place for them here at GCS. But that's down to you guys. You guys have got to let us know what you want. Would you want a Manitou on your farm? Or building site? Or industrial job? Doesn't matter. So, thanks for watching, guys. It's been a, an interesting day or two evaluating these machines. And thank you to Glyn Wallace and also B&B um, &B Tractors, James Richardson of B&B &B Tractors, for delivering these couple of machines for us to try been very very worthwhile i think and i look forward to hearing what you guys have got to tell us remember guys to like and subscribe and um, harvey will put a couple of videos up here that you may not have seen before see you on the next one